Okay, hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are here on my bedroom floor. We're in a very casual setting. We're in a very non-professional setup because today I thought, you know, I'm gonna spend this Saturday clearing out my entire wardrobe. I mean my whole wardrobe. I am a hoarder of clothes like it is literally no secret i own so many clothes that it is a joke a lot of them i've had since i was like 13 years old obviously between the ages of 13 and 19 you do a lot of growing a lot of it doesn't fit me and i am sentimentally attached to it so i keep it anyway so i figured we'd have a very laid back style video where you guys basically just sit on my bedroom floor with me which is where i am right now and i sort the hell out of the wardrobe behind me because currently this wardrobe is exceptionally full but i also have a wardrobe full of clothes in leeds and when i move back from leeds <laughs> There's no space, so I thought I need to get this done, I need to do it. Why not film a video on it? Why not let you guys watch me organise my life? Because I like watching those kind of videos and I figured it would be kind of fun. So if you are new to my channel before we get started, go down below and hit the subscribe button because that would mean the world to me. And I am just going to get basically straight into it. I have so many clothes, I think you're underestimating what you're about to witness. It's ridiculous. The first thing I'm going to do is take absolutely everything out of my wardrobe and I'm going to have like three piles, I think. So I'm going to have a keep pile, a sell pile and a go to charity pile because I know that a lot of it needs to go but a lot of it can't be sold because I've worn it a lot but I know for a fact I definitely can sell some of it because there's things I've worn like once or twice or even worse I have a lot of stuff with tags in still like that's so bad. I know it is so bad. I have a problem with buying clothes. I buy clothes all the time, but also I'm kindly gifted a lot of clothes by some of my absolute favourite brands. Misguided, Pretty Little Thing, I saw it first, and a lot of the time I just haven't worn it. Like, I haven't worn it. Let's go. So that is the main bit of my wardrobe. It's kind of hard to like show you. That angle is a tiny bit better. I'm sorry if it's kind of wonky. Um, but yeah, so this is like the main bit of my wardrobe. I also have obviously like three drawers down here and then these two kind of shelves. But then I also have this entire wardrobe which is full of like going out stuff. This angle is so dodgy. So basically what I'm gonna do is just clear out everything like take everything out so all of these clothes which behind me don't know if you can really see like i have so much clothing it's actually ridiculous without further ado let's just start also can we just take a moment to appreciate the fact that i have a picture of draco malfoy from harry potter stuck on the inside of my wardrobe door i thought i'd address it because i know i'll get comments that's been there since 2011 we're just looking past it not going to take it down let's ignore it so i think the first thing to do is just to take all of these out basically wow this is gonna be a long job I don't even think I'm gonna have room on my bedroom floor for all of my wardrobe. I might have to do it section by section because the floor is full and I haven't even done half. Oh my god. Why do I still own that? <laughs> Right, okay, so we've got the first mound of stuff. I'm gonna close up the doors and we're gonna sit on the floor and we're gonna organize my life because uh, somebody needs to. Honestly, I'm genuinely quite scared. So first thing's a hat, I'm gonna keep the hat. So I'm gonna have, yeah, keep, sell, charity. This, <laughs> I want to say I'm gonna wear it, but I think it just looks like an ABBA wannabe. So I might pop that on my Depop. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna link my Depop down below. Some of these have been on sale for a while though, but I'm sure there will be some stuff left, so. Yeah, I'm gonna sell that. This is going to a good start. We're not keeping stuff we don't need. I bought this in year 12 for a house party, but I think in reality this just looks as if you're going to work. I don't really know why I wore that to house parties, I'm not gonna lie, but I actually quite like it, so I'm gonna keep that. Okay, I've had this shirt for the longest time. I think that's just a charity shop kind of job. See, I loved this at the time, and I actually don't own any other checked shirt, and I think I paid like 30 pounds for this. Yeah, I'm gonna keep that. Again, I went through such a phase of wearing shirts that looked like i was gonna go to work but like who did i even think i was i was like 14 at the time but this was so iconic this was like beauty spectrum i loved this i absolutely loved this but it was like four pound from primark and i just don't think i need it anymore see that's gone all bitty yeah i just don't really i just don't really know what it was with shirts i had such a thing and i just 
don't even like them. That's going to charity. That, this, I wore this all the time. This was such a molly jumper, but it's gone. You know when the fabric goes really like rough from wearing it too much? I think that that has had its day, so that's going as well. Okay, I'm just gonna speed this up a bit now and you guys can just watch the time lapse because otherwise we're gonna be here for 20 years and I'll talk you through what I'm keeping and what I'm not. didn't take me as long as I thought it was gonna. I think that's because I've just kept most things. So this is my keep pile here and I genuinely do think that I've worn all of these at least in the last, well, I've worn most of them in the last three months I would say. There are some bits that I'm just like oh I definitely will wear that again when the weather's a bit better. But this is my charity pile, which I actually don't think is too bad. So a lot of them are just like generic -y things that I've actually got multiple of. So like a stripy t-shirt, I've got about seven stripy t-shirts and I actually don't, don't love the sleeves on this. I went through a phase of liking this style sleeve. I actually really don't anymore. So that's in the charity pile. This is in the charity pile, which actually makes me really sad because I love Goody Hicks, but um, this jumper's just gone really like, honest, I think it's probably happened like in the wash, but if you can kind of like see, I don't know if you can, it's like really bobbly, really, really bobbly. And I just know that I probably won't wear it again, although, oh, would I wear it again? Oh. This is what happens to me when I close stuff out because I know that I like spent a fair amount of money on this. Actually, I'm going to keep that. This I bought in Brighton and I loved it at the time, wore it a lot, will insert some photos of said top because I wore this a lot at the time. Again, I went through a stripe phase. I'm just not a fan of that anymore. Another stripey top which I wore to death. Again, I feel like some of these were so like molly at the time. This stripey top with the like frills here. So that's going. Oh my god. It Yeah, it's the stripe. I've got a stripe problem. But <laughs> literally so far half the pile is that's bad. And another and another. Oh my god, I've actually got a problem. As you can see, I've got over the stripe thing. A lot of it's going to charity now. I actually bought this from Romwe for a testing Romwe video. I quite like it, but I know that I won't wear it again because it's super, super thin, but also it's really cropped and I'm just not really a fan of like having a cold tummy. Yeah, it was a phase. It's no longer a phase. Oh, see, I was really tempted to wear this. To wear this? No, to keep this because I actually bought this for the Ariana Grande One Love concert, but it's just like... <sighs> To be honest, it's just seen better days. I think I paid three pounds for it, so now it's going to charity. Yeah, I think there's probably about 15 items maybe on the charity pile. The sell pile, things I'm gonna be popping on my Depot. So far, there's only five things. So there's the, the ABBA top. Then there is this dress, which I haven't ever worn. This is from I Saw It First, but it doesn't actually fit me. Like, I wanted it to fit me. I really like it, but it's just, it doesn't fit amazingly, but I'm gonna put that on Depop because I love the colour of it. There is then this Tommy Hilfiger jumper, which I bought, but haven't ever really worn it because I don't like the neckline. So I'm gonna stick that on Depop. I think I've worn it like twice. There's then this, which is from, I saw it first. And again, I like this and I think it's very figure flattering, but when I have it on, I feel like it looks like a curtain and yeah. And then the last thing is this jumper from Forever 21, I think, yeah. Uh, which I wore once, but the neckline is just so gapy on me. I don't have the boobs for this. So that is on the sell pile too. I've worn that literally once. So um, I need to put all of this stuff back into the wardrobe. I'm gonna try and like coordinate it a bit better. And then after that, I'm gonna start on the drawers. So everything is in and I've done it in colour order. So in the in the dark corner, I've got the darks. So like black to blue to lots of grey. And then I think what we can see from this is that my main colours are pink and white. Like literally all of this bit of my wardrobe is baby pink and white. And I'm not going to lie to you. I actually don't think that baby pink suits me. So <laughs> what am I doing? I think blue suits me. One. One blue thing. This is a denim jacket. <laughs> Okay, so at least we now know which colours I need to avoid in the shops. If you see me buying anything pink or white, say Molly, you've got enough. You've got enough. Okay, Just... so next I'm going to do denim, which is in this section here. And I know for a fact, actual fact, I have at least three pairs of jeans in Leeds. And I have at least maybe seven in here. This pair of jeans is the only pair of jeans I really wear, plus my ripped ones. Yeah, I'm going to do denim. I need to move all of the coat hangers out of the way. I also have a considerable amount of slippers which seems unnecessary for somebody that has a dog can't wear them anyway because the dog just pulls them off your feet let's have a look what's hiding in here oh wow here's all my shorts as well i mean all right molly these shorts 
Okay, wow, I didn't realise I had. These are not mine. These are not mine. If Jenny is watching, Jenny, did you give me these? Are these Jenny's? <laughs> I don't recall ever owning these. Yeah, these are from Zara. I've never shopped in Zara. Jenny, are these yours? I mean, I love a pair of denim shorts, so for now, I'm going to keep all of my shorts because I think that they will fit me still. Three pairs of my own blue denim shorts. I feel like that's justifiable though. These are distressed, so that's fine. They're different. These ones have some absolutely gorgeous beading on the side. Again, that makes them different. And then these are like my trusty, I know that these will always fit because they stretch when I blow comfy, high-waisted short. I then own this pair of also equally high-waisted. In fact, these are very high-waisted, although they don't look like they'll fit me. But I'm going to keep them anyway because they're black. And then I have this mystery pair, which are, I think, from my friend Jenny. So let's move on to jeans. Oh, dear. I've also got a lot of leggings in this pile as well. So are these my trusty Joni jeans? Yes, they are. Okay. I have one pair of all blue jeans that fit and are comfortable and that's these. So we're keeping those. Oh my god, I used to love these. Do you guys remember when I wore these all the time? I actually don't really like them anymore because they're not high-waisted. Charity. This is actually the first thing I ever ordered from Pretty Little Thing. Next thing. Oh, these are from I Saw It First. I just don't think that they fit me. I mean, they look cool. But I think they might have to go on the sell pile because... They've got tags in. I order jeans online all the time and they never fit me, so. Okay, what are these? Ah, uh, these are my trusty Hollister ripped jeans. I'm gonna keep those. Wait, what the heck? How many jeans have I just got rid of? One to charity, one to sell. Not doing too bad, I've only got two pairs left. Okay, then I have a pair of mom jeans, which are from Topshop actually, and they are too tight on the waist because I thought I was skinnier than I actually was. Turns out I'm not. Ordered them online, didn't take them back, and now it's too late. So I'm just gonna have to manage to fit into these eventually. So I'm gonna keep them in the aim that one day they fit me. But for now, <laughs> they can wait. I don't think I'm doing too badly on the jeans front. The next thing is this pair of, I actually adore these. They're almost leggings, heart and trousers, but they don't fit me. They're too big on the waist, but at the time, yeah, they fall down a lot. I wore these to London Fashion Week last year and I really like them, but they just don't fit. They're really annoying, they slip down. I'm gonna try them on, but provisionally I'm gonna say that I'm gonna sell them because I've only worn them about three times. And then I have here a pair of leggings, which I don't think fit. I'll have to try them on because I don't know if they fit. So I'm gonna put them in the sell pile because I'm gonna try everything on that I'm selling to put on Depop. What else is here? Oh, these trousers, yeah. These looked amazing on the website. These are from Pretty Little Thing. Saw them on the website, thought, oh they would be really cool on a night out they're like tight they've got a paper bag waist turns out they don't look that cool and actually they look kind of strange so i never wore them and they've still got the tag in so i'm gonna put them on the sell pile because if i've had them for a year am i gonna wear them probably not also a little side note i'm sorry if you can hear the grass being cut my dad's cutting the grass outside but I don't think you're going to hear it. But if you can, I'm sorry. Okay, so then also in that section with the denim, I had pyjamas for some reason. So I'm just going to clear out some pyjamas. These are like winter pyjamas. I've got a drawer full of summer pyjamas. I love these leggings. Keep. Hogwarts pyjamas. I have so many of these Harry Potter sets because obviously all of my family know that I love Harry Potter, which meant that one Christmas, whenever Primark did the Harry Potter range of like Christmas pajamas, I got about three pairs. So I've got this one and I've got this one, although I don't think that fits me. I think that's too small. So how can one be too small and not the other? Because I swear they're the same. Oh, that's a medium and that is a small, which explains why that doesn't fit because I'm not a six to eight. So charity bag. Oh my God, guys, I bought these pajama bottoms for a school trip I went on in year nine. Year nine. <laughs> I'm now leaving my first year of university. Maybe that tells you something about these. I think it's time for you to go, honey. And then lastly, I've got this matching set of pajamas, which I actually kind of got from the body shop event that I went to. I'm gonna keep these definitely because they have my name on them. So that's super cool. I'm now gonna put that back in here and hope that it all fits. I also have this denim skirt and this denim skirt and I don't know whether to put them in with the denim or to leave them in the other cupboard which is where they actually live at the moment. Do you, do you hang skirts up or do you fold them up? Do you put them in a drawer or do you hang them? Let me know in the comments. Okay, I'm gonna do my socks and underwear off camera because that's really boring and a bit weird so I'm gonna get back to you after I've done all of that. 
Um, and then we're going to do the drawers, which I think is what's going to take the longest because my habit is to just shove absolutely everything that I can't find a home for into the middle drawer here and now it won't open or close. Okay, so we're back and I feel like I'm miles away so I'm going to kind of like squat here. We're going to clear the drawers out now, which is what I'm the most excited for because I know this is where I hoard my stuff. I'm going to bring you a bit nearer for this bit. Wow. <laughs> I love this. I can't wait to clear this out. Basically guys, I'm just a hoarder. Like there's no two ways around it. This is where we are currently at now and I think most of the stuff in here is uh, either new or very old there's no in between we're just gonna start this I wear a lot I'm gonna keep that so I'm gonna put keep done here for now um I actually don't like this I've worn this twice it's very itchy and it was like four pounds from Primark so I'm gonna actually yeah no. then I have loads of tops like this like little tiny tops like that are good for holidays I'm gonna keep that actually I like that I'm gonna keep her I bought this skirt from Brandy Melville the other week but I'm just scared it's never gonna fit me like it's so tight I didn't try it on I really should have done why is Brandy Melville one size fits all when most people have a waist that's bigger than that look at the size of that I'm gonna keep it for now but again new with tags this is ridiculous like why do i have so much stuff with tags in this is from brandy melville i really really like this it's got leopard print i haven't worn it yet but i do love that so i'm gonna keep that this what is this oh this is a jack walls t-shirt okay yeah okay i know for a fact these two can go don't know why i ever bought these they're like weird satin t-shirts from new look i bought two of them i don't even like them they can go again look at this this is so bad with tags in but i just haven't worn it yet because it's not summer but i do really like that leggings i'm gonna keep i've worn that to death i feel like maybe that's had its day no charity don't need that molly okay we're gonna go time lapse it from here guys <laughs> I just need to show you this because what the hell am I doing still owning these? Can you read that tag? Eight to nine years. I am 90. I turned 20 this year. What am I doing owning age eight short in my drawer as if I'm gonna one day get my leg in them? Like, what? <laughs> what's more sad is that I know that these fit me until I was 13. Are you ready for this? It hasn't shut like that in about a year. Okay, the bottom drawer is the same. This is pyjamas and comfy t-shirts, which I own an abundance of. Off we go. What's in here? Oh, I wear this all the time. I sleep in this constantly. This is my Love Me Do t-shirt. It is a original Beatles merch, which used to be my dad's. I'm not getting rid of that. What is this? Oh, my first Summer in the City t-shirt. I don't think this actually fits me, but... <laughs> I'm gonna keep it. This is also Summer in the City, I think, is it? Yeah, that's another year. Wow, how many Summer in the City t-shirts do I have? And will I get another in August? Quite probably. What is this one? Oh, wow, really? It's another? <laughs> Oh wow, okay. Yeah, just gonna put that to one side. This is a t-shirt with my slogan on it, which when I had like 10,000 subscribers, a company sent me and said, do you wanna release this as merch? And I was like, no. If you can imagine it, you can make it happen. Okay, what's that? White leggings from when I needed to wear all white to uni. They can go. Let's open that t-shirt. That's my One Love. One Love Manchester. Definitely gonna keep that. Oh my god, I look why is this in my pyjama drawer? This is not pyjamas. This is festival. If you guys want the links to anything, let me know in the comments and I'll try and see if I can find them online still. Some of these will still be on on sale, I'm sure. Okay didn't know I owned those but okay oh I've dyed my hair in this t-shirt for so long that it has gone really strange that can go in the bin oh my god it's a unicorn <gasps> why is there a unicorn of so I actually think that that is the majority of this section now I have the whole other wardrobe but I'm actually gonna just like bag up the stuff that is on the floor and come back to that after I've charged my camera up because I've been filming for so long and then come back to you in a bit and do the other wardrobe just so you can see now this is the charity bag pile I'm really proud of myself actually and then this pile here kind of like directly underneath where you're stood this is for the bin because all of this is literally like like disgusting really old stuff and then this pile the stuff that I'm going to be popping on my Depop and then there's still some stuff on the bed that needs to like find a new place in the wardrobe but generally yeah I'm pretty happy with myself okay so we're back and it's been a couple of hours actually and I'm now going to start on this wardrobe Dinner. Um, basically I don't really know the best place to stand you right I'm going to have to like bob down a bit so I keep my kind of like going out stuff in here so at the bottom I've got jumpers which are 
like absolutely huge that's a bit better this wardrobe is so tall like compared to the other one so yeah in here basically what i've got is like going out stuff and dresses sparkly things you can't really see it on camera actually but trust me there's like a combination of very old going out stuff very bulky jumpers so i'm gonna make a start on this side pulling it all out basically to start off with how we did the other and then we're gonna go through it there's a lot of stuff in here though so just gonna pop these onto the floor this is where i realize actually i never need to buy another hoodie again in my whole Life. Here's two more. This one's from a school trip in 2014. This is from my school leavers in 2016. This is from my school leavers in 2018. <laughs> okay, that's it for the bottom shelf. So this, this rail is empty. The top stuff is where it is a bit of an odd combination. So I've got like jumper dress, jacket. Don't really know why that's in there. Should be downstairs. Jumper dress, I wear that a lot. Really love this denim dress. I wear that a lot. These are just really odd. Like, oh, here's my skirt. Answered my own question. Apparently you hang skirts up. Now we're getting into a really odd section. You know when you get to the back of a wardrobe and you pull out, what is this? Swear to God I never wore a polo shirt this colour to any school. Oh, I did. When did I wear that? This is my PE top from school. Why on earth did we do PE in a polo shirt? That's really weird. Do I keep this? This is a very grotty white shirt that comes in handy for formal occasions when you need an actual shirt oh my god right so there's a blazer that's very off-white and not not the brand and then we've got a blazer not a blazer a waistcoat from when i used to work in a cafe that wasn't a good look at the time and then this this was my gcse textiles final piece um it's a panelled right it may look horrific and it is horrific but can we just appreciate the detailing in it it's fully panelled lined <laughs> at one point believe it or not i knew how to use a sewing machine to make this it's literally the ugliest thing ever i'm not gonna lie to you but it took me a year to make this so i'm not throwing that away this is actually really sad i've fully got a school uniform in here ah! who remembers when i used to wear this in my videos i bet this would still fit well of course this would still fit i haven't really grown since i was 15 but that's so weird i'm gonna put this back because there's no point in like clearing that out and now the sorting out begins i'm gonna put the textiles gcse piece back see this is what annoys me everything kind of hangs at the wrong length like the rails just slightly in the wrong place okay need to sort my stuff out I'm gonna time lapse it and then show you so with the help of my mum who you can see in the mirror Hello. we have just put the last of the hoodies back into here so i'm gonna like bring you off the stand and show you this is what the bottom of this wardrobe now looks like and basically what's in here is really bulky jumpers so the really really thick ones and then all of these are hoodies i've actually got rid of two hoodies a couple of jumpers i got rid of more from up here so quite a lot of denim skirts and trousers that i have had since i was very young like literally 13 14 15 that just don't fit me anymore along with like beach dresses so i've kept like this one which i bought last year i love this i wore it a lot last summer this is from bershka and then like this play suit and this these are like what i wore last summer so these are quite like recent additions but anything that i've had for a couple of years especially if it's just like very seasonal wear so very summer or very winter um i've tried to get rid of so that i can like have a bit more space and there is a lot more room in here now actually which is really really nice so we're done i'm actually gonna end this video here because i feel like it's super long so if you stayed till the end then thank you very much for for watching i hope you've enjoyed seeing a wardrobe declutter with me i'm gonna link down below my depop so that you guys can check out what's left for sale on there but i think it'll have been up about a week by now that is everything all done so subscribe if you are new to my channel if you want to see another version of this when i clear out my makeup in a couple of weeks let me know down below smash a thumbs up and i will be back on saturday with a weekly vlog hope you guys have enjoyed this and i'm sorry it was super super long bye